Welcome back to my channel. This is Pinoy Galaan and this is our travel blog from Seychelles. This vlog is all about Mahe Island, although Seychelles has three main islands which is Mahe, Laduc, and Praline Island. So in here in Mahe, we have the Victoria which is the capital city of Seychelles. So officially we start our holiday on 11th of March. We flew from Istanbul to Mahi International Airport in Seychelles, which is the capital city is Victoria. It was 8 hours and 15 minutes. So, this is about early in the morning when we arrive. It was very nice flight. This is the place we rented for seven days. Look at the color, it's very nice. I like the combination of colors. It has small TV. We can cook there as well. I normally cook almost every day. It has hot shower. This is the room. They prepare very nice. It has a safety lock. It has an air condition and a lots of drawers to give our things. Also, it has a small balcony where normally in the afternoon we sat down and just look outside. The place is just on the edge of the street. Normally in the morning, this place is very busy. After we go to the supermarket, we go to the beach for a swim and this is how it looks like. It is really beautiful. place is not really busy and there is actually a new hotel across the road and they have a weather is very in nice this place too. there are only a few it was people 30 degree staying. I don't know why maybe it's a bit cloudy season, but it's perfect a bit us. windy not crowded, but the sea was really busy. beautiful almost all the week very few people are staying and this is the national flag of seashells it's like a rainbow they are playing attention this side many of them are locals and there are many group of people who are actually like a family or I'm not sure but there are a lots of locals in this place
This place is really relaxing. This is about uh, 4 in the afternoon, not many people. This is Sunday and I'm just amazed of how I see this place. It's a little bit cloudy but still it's nice. This small island that you see before was a perfect place to do snorkeling. Normally this place has no sunset, here we have the sunrise, so after we done swimming we walk to another place and at the opposite of this place was a place where we can buy a fresh vegetable and fresh fruits. In this location, almost everything you can find. Uh, this is the essential part of this place. They have the takeaway food, they have the grocery, they have the mini bar. They have almost everything that you need. So, we are lucky that we have able to choose this kind of place, which is really essential. So, this is Octopus we bought today it's our second day it was still alive and look at this the color look at the color changing so on this day we're about to go to Bubalong beach it's uh, one hour and 45 minutes away from here so we need to take a bus going there we arrive at Victoria City this is the famous black tower it's a very small city so we just walk around and yeah. see some of the places like the museum and museum. many other things so from the place we we were to here we pay less than a euro it is 12 rupees and then after seeing few places from here we need to go back to the bus station because we need to take the bus going to Wobalong Beach and it is about 45 minutes away from here after visiting some of the museum we rode the bus going to Bubalong. The road is very crazy and it's completely zigzag. If you close your eyes, you think you are riding a roller coaster. This road is going up to the hill and go down to the hill. And it is a very teeny road. Sometimes this is a beautiful part the seaside look at this seaside and you know sometimes even it's two-way road the one that's supposed to come after need to stop so the other car can go that teeny road is really really kind of scary but we enjoy the ride and we really do enjoy this trip a lot this view up was really amazing
Right after we arrive at Bobalong, we directly go to the restaurant just in front of the beach because we are really hungry. We walk and we go many places and this is the time that we have to try some of their local foods. So this is the view from the place we were having our lunch. Look at the beautiful color of the sea. And there are many fruit stalls with different kinds of tropical fruits. I'm actually just finished my lunch and all I wanted to do is to go to the sea. This place is a little bit busy compared to the place we were staying, Anse Royal. This is Bovalong Beach. Look at this beautiful sea. Look at this. This is day 4 of our holiday. We're going to the place which is very famous for its turquoise and blue sea. Green Sea. The name is Port Lunai. But before that, let's recap from the three days ago. This is the place from three days ago we were. It was at the other side of the beach where I go on swimming. This is a little bit shallow. swimming I go for a walk to look out for a souvenir there are many souvenir shop just across of the street actually I haven't buy anything because I think they are very expensive well I just keep going and going and going and walk at this time I'm searching where to sit down but I find it's like it's nice to take my own video while walking on the beach. I actually asked if I can use this sun that uh, it was taken already. That's for 20 euro each. going to Port Lonai. The road here is more crazy and we enjoy the rides. The sea view, the mountains, the cliffs are just amazing. This is about 45 minutes away from Anse Royal where we stay. In this place, many are new buildings, soon to open hotels, and they are not just hotels, they are five-star hotels. And yes, look at that beautiful color of the sea. A few minutes after we arrive at the beach, it is suddenly rain. This is actually a unique place in this island. This beach is located just inside the forest or it has its own forest so it always rain it is very humid but whenever there is a sun this place is really just magnificent
There is one hotel in here. That's why there are many people actually, a lot of families in here. There are a lot of operator in here. This is the hotel which is located on the forest. According to the tour operator, that cross on the rock is the perfect place to do snorkeling. And there are many tour operators in here. And there are many Airbnb in this place. This place is just really amazing when there's the sun. Look at this. So this is the water sports activity area you can book here. I don't know how many hours, maybe an hour. And there are kayak, there are paddling, there are many things. Okay, we'll see you. And this is the place where I always stay. This is Anse Royale. Look at this beautiful color of the sea. Look at this. We love it. We enjoy it. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to like, leave your comment, ask a question, and subscribe. And we have a part two of this. See you. What time did you go? 12.